Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Heidi from My Reading Life and I'm here today to film my TBR check-in and to have a little discussion about my sort of goals and plans for the 2022 reading year. Let's just get to the big, the big reveal of how we did overall with reducing the TBR, if you remember, which you may not, but I went back and looked. My, my goal for 2021 was to reduce my TBR. I started out the year at 146 books on my physical TBR and I wanted to get down. The goal is to be at 100 um, at some point, but I wanted to reduce that down from 146. And my, my main goal was to try to reduce um, my ancient TBR, of which this is what's left of the ancient TBR. When I started this project in the beginning of 2021, you remember there was two shelves full of books that were my ancient TBR. And that was a total of 71 books, I think, that were on those two shelves. And I ended the year with only 20 books left on the ancient TBR. And I've already read one book from those 20 in 2022, but that's getting ahead of myself. So I got the ancient TBR down from 71 to 20, which is like a major accomplishment. I feel really, really good about that. But let's talk about the overall TBR. So in the month of December, I read eight books off my shelves. I brought in 12 books. It was Christmas. I did not unhaul any. So that left me with a plus four um, for the month. But it brought, it got my TBR. My total TBR is at 120. So my physical TBR starting 2022 is at 120 books, which feels awesome. I reduced my TBR overall by 26 books. So down from 146 to 120, and that feels great. That is definitely moving in the right direction. It's definitely, um, you know, I'm, I'm working towards my goal of reading with intention and buying books with intention um, of not just buying books because I've heard of them or because they're cheap or because some other reason, but buying books that I, I really want to read or I really want to have in my collection. So I feel like that was all very much a success. So in 2022, I am going to continue on with my TBR balancing and every month I'm just going to keep accountability with myself. I'm going to keep track of how many books I read off my physical TBR, um, how many books I bring in, and I'm just going to continue along with that because I have found that for me, that is a great way to keep myself accountable to what I'm doing, to really pay attention to the books that I'm bringing into my home and to make sure that I'm, I'm reading books that I want to read and buying books that I want to read. And that way, hopefully, <laughs> you know, I will continue to reduce the physical TBR. Although I have been asked, Heidi, is your goal to get to zero TBR? No, no, I don't ever want a zero TBR because I like to have choice in my reading. Um, and I think I would feel too stressed out if my TBR was actually at zero. So I would like it to be under 100. I mean, that, that would be the best, I think. Um, but honestly, 120 seems very, very manageable to me. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm quite quite pleased with um, where I got. I read overall for the year, I read um, 171 books. I know my Goodreads thing. If you saw it on Instagram, I posted my Goodreads like summary. And for some reason, Goodreads thinks I read 175 books for the year and I really only read 171 and I haven't gone back to try to figure out where the discrepancy is. But 171 books is maybe my personal best for reading in a year. So I feel really uh, quite positive about, and I did do the math up and I think it was like 107 books of the 171 that I read were my own books, my own books that I had physically here in the house. So that seems really, really good. I'm really happy with that percentage wise, as far as my reading. Um, and I, I, I would just like to maintain <laughs> that over the next year. And the best way for me to maintain something is to track it because then I'll know and I'll be able to course correct as the year goes on as I'm going. So what are some other things that I would like to be working on in 2022? Well, two of my main projects you will already know 
I will be doing the Book Naturalist Book Club again this year with Doris from Aldi Books. We've already made our announcement videos and um, talked about the books that we plan to read in 2022. I'm very excited about that. I will also be participating in the Book 2 Prize judging. I've signed up for the nonfiction category. Again, I really, really love reading nonfiction for the Book 2 Prize. It really exposes me to lots of stuff that I probably wouldn't pick up on my own. And I just find that from for me, I, I have better results just reading nonfiction rather than um, switching between the categories. So I'm gonna stick with nonfiction, book two prize judging. I also have a couple other long-term projects that I will be continuing to work on. So my president's reading challenge, you all know about that. That is where I'm reading a biography for each president in chronological order. I am currently on William McKinley, which I did receive two books about that president for Christmas. So I will be reading those. And so that one, my generally, I like to try to read three or four presidents every year. Last year I only read two, I think, um, as, as I talked about. So we'll see, but that's my goal for 2022. The other long-term project that I've been working on is I've been reading from this list since I was in high school. This is a mimeographed <laughs> sheet that I received from a teacher in high school. And this, the title of this is a recommended reading list for college bound students. And she, the, my, one of my favorite teachers gave me this. She wasn't my English teacher, by the way. And she gave this to me because I had a really terrible English teacher for three of the four years that I was in high school. And we just didn't read anything. We did not read any classics during those three three years. And so she gave me this list because I was worried that I was headed off to college and I had not read the things that I should have read before I went to college. Now, of course, I didn't get this three sheets of paper here, <laughs> this list, single, you know, one line, one book per line, three sheets. I didn't get these read by the time I, I left high school. And so I've been working on them ever since. And I'm now 47 years old. So you can tell I've been reading these for a long time. But the good news is I only have two books left on the list. And one of them is Look Homeward Angel by Thomas Wolfe. And the other one is Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. Now this one's funny because I actually thought that I had read this one. And then as I've heard people discuss Jane Eyre, I realized that in fact, I have not read it. So those are the last two that I have to read for my list of classics for recommended reading list for college bound students. Um, so I hope to finish that long-term project this year in 2022. Let's see what else. Uh, the, the other main goal that I have, my other main monthly um, goal to do is I have a Kindle. I have eBooks both on uh, my Kindle and also on iBooks. And I don't pick those up unless they are a buddy read or something like that. Like I just forget they even exist. So I would like to read at least one of the eBooks that I own every month. And I, I think I would like to give myself a little bit of a break with this goal and say that over, I would like it to be 10 eBooks for the whole year. So that would give me two months of wiggle room if I don't quite make my one eBook per month goal. And these eBooks, it won't count if I read an eBook from Scribd or from my library, which is where I tend to read eBooks from because I'm reading them for some other purpose. These are books that I purchased or I got for free. It was a Kindle deal or something like that. I mean, I just bought them and stockpile them and in my, you know, in the cloud or whatever, and I never read them. And there's some of those are really, really good books that I would like to read. So one per month for a total of 10 for the year, which gives me two months of wiggle room for that one. Rereads. Rereading is something else that I, I used to reread a lot before I got on booktube and I feel like I've kind of gotten away from rereading. And there are some books that I'd really like to reread. I think I'm far enough along in my reading journey that enough time has passed for a lot of books that I'd like to revisit them. So I will be doing some rereads this year. Don't have a, a, a like a numerical goal for this. I just would like to fo pay more attention to rereads. And I already have a bunch of rereads planned. A lot of them are buddy reads. Some of them are um, book naturalist book club picks that I will be rereading as we get to those picks um, for their individual months. And I am really excited to revisit some old favorites this year as I move through the year. Probably try to, I mean, I didn't set a numerical goal for this, but it, I probably will try to aim to the one per month type of a deal with the rereads as well. So that I think is all of my bookish goals. And then the other thing that I am going to be focusing on, another goal that I have for the year, which isn't bookish, but um, was inspired to do this by 
some bookish people. So two people, in fact, have talked about this project. And so I have decided to copy them and follow their lead and track how many hours I spend outside this year in 2022. The goal being to spend a thousand hours outside. Karen over at, um, she just changed her channel name, Roving Reader was the first person I heard talk about this goal of spending a thousand hours outside. And then Jenny King posted on Instagram this cool poster that she has to be able to track um, if she spent time outside with her uh, son every day. And so I feel really motivated to, I spend a lot of time outside anyway for my job. I'm just because I'm a person that enjoys being outside. So I feel motivated to track this and to see almost to see what I would normally do, even more than wanting to see if I can hit a thousand hours. I just would like to see how many hours I spend outside in a year, just in general. So I'm going to be tracking that as well. And I will, at the end of the year, update you on where I got with that goal. So that's it. That's the TBR, last TBR check-in for 2021 and my um, intentions for 2022. I hope you're all doing well and finding some great books to read. And I will talk to you later.